one mixed in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just say to you, um, you know that fight that you stopped in America? Alhamdulillah. Were you surprised by the reaction that you got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man, I'm still surprised. Really, but it makes me, like, if I give you, like, little history about the day, two things. You know how, like, in, like, the angel Jabril, Ali Salaam, how he comes and blows the soul into the roh of the baby when they're in, like, second trimester of the mom? And at this, it's, a, it's hadith. Prophet Sahih. Yeah. And, uh, and, then, and then he will, Allah Ta'ala wills uh, uh, four things at this time. And I could have some things wrong, Alhamdulillah. I'm paraphrasing. Allah forgive me. Allah Muhammad. Muhammad. Right? But a part of these things are your lifespan, how long you're going to live, when you're born, when you're going to die, uh, how much money you'll make. Right? And how you're going to spend it. And if you're going to get it halal or haram. Right? All of that's already willed for you. Also, if you're wretched or you're going to go like heaven or hell, it's already willed for you at this time. And I, I knew about that, but I didn't really... Uh, I mean, I knew about it, but you're in dunya, so you're still trying to work for the money. You're still trying to like just... Stay healthy so you can live long, but in reality, it, d it doesn't matter. It all really doesn't matter because when you're going to die, it was already preordained by Allah. All of your money is already preordained by Allah. Heaven or hell is already preordained by Allah. You know, like the man, they say, like this one man, he may be a good guy all his life, and then right before death comes to him, Allah switches and makes the people of the hell fine. And I mean, I pray Allah protects us all from that. And about those young men, a lot of that. You know that as a man who, who may he be a bad man his whole life, bad man, wretched man. In the end of his life, right before death, Allah changed him, making people of Jannah. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was studying, uh, uh, we were doing like a riwaya, you know, Manoi, Rahimullah, just uh, Arba'in. Um, and we were like in the beginning. I had just got done like, and I'm not yet. Like, I'm just like, I'm in the beginning, man. Like, I'm not, I wish I spent time when I was young. So I'm trying to get it now, you know. So and uh, so we were going on about that, and we got to like the third or fourth hadith, and we were talking about like kata, like the end, like a good ending, right? It's no kata, like a good. You got it. It's all about having a good ending. You know who dreams of the good ending? You know, like, and at your janazah, you know they're gonna recite surah to yasin for you, sort of to mok for you, and just really good ending, you know. And. Uh, we, I was really emotional that day, because we I was thinking to myself, like, man, I ain't got no shot. <laughs> really, really emotional that day. I said, man, the intercession of the Prophet mm -hmm. is all I got, man. <laughs> man, I'm just praying for us to also intercede for me, you know? So I was telling him. I'm thinking to myself, man, what am I going to do? And uh, I, my mom asked me to do something, and I really wanted to say no. Like, my nuffs, if I could be honest, I wanted to be like, this is, you know, after the door, they give you a break. And man, we've been going since the morning time. So it's though I'm trying to pray though, quick eat, make 20 nap, 20 minute, take quick, you know. I'm like tired. Studying is hard, bro. It's not easy, man. Like, and anyone, any of you young men spending your time studying, man, I salute you. MashaAllah. <laughs> May Allah protect you and Allah give you uh, uh, energy and, uh, and good effort. I mean, so I didn't want to do it, but I did it because... I was like, man, I'm reading about good ending. How are you going to get a good ending? You do what your mom says, right? So I said, okay, I'll do this thing. And then uh, I remember going, I went to the store. I came out of the store. I seen those kids fighting. I broke the fight up. I got back home. I had to be back in class at four o'clock. And um, uh, they do like the Roja. And uh, I got back in class, or no, it wasn't the Roja. It was with Imam Amin, the Book of Assistance, Bidaya to Hidayah, right? And it was Ali. So uh, I was like, my wife had made some lunch. I didn't eat my lunch yet. I just did it for my mom. I came back my lunch. I couldn't eat it though. I told her, I told her what I seen. I was like kind of sad, you know? I was already a little emotional thinking about like dying and just like, man, I gotta get a good ending. And then I seen those kids fighting. I came home, I was like pretty sad. Like just like these kids, they were fighting in the street. Then one kid's recording it, you know? I just told her the whole thing and we both were just like, I will do be like, just make dua for them, you know? And then man, don't you know, like one o'clock in the morning, my phone was like, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> my brother, my cousin, my mom, the news repair, like bing, bing, bing. But I, for me, no, nobody calls me anymore. I'm not cool no more, man. <laughs> like before, man, I had a lot of friends. Every day, call me, pick me up, we go out, we hang, you know, like that. But man, I say, la, 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 Muhammad Rasulullah. And I was always Muslim, born Muslim, but when I start practicing, you know, strongly, friends. 
So for me, me and my wife are like, who is calling you? Because <laughs> no one calls me. Not even in the daytime, nobody calls me. So who's calling me at nighttime? Yeah. So immediately, I'm thinking like bad things because, you know, bad things happen a lot. And alhamdulillah, I don't know if you noticed, but when you're the Muslim in your family, they're going to call on you first because they know they can trust on you. So I'm thinking bad thing, like, yo, what's... And everyone's saying, yo, man, I seen Facebook. I seen it. I seen it. I said, what'd you see? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, my brother, he sent it to me. And I was like, oh, my goodness. You know, mashallah. And like the next day, reporters were knocking on my door. I literally like hid my family. I closed my blinds. <laughs> and in my house, we make like one room to Musala. You know, not a small house, but we have one really nice room in my house, man. It's a nice room, man. The best thing in my house has, man. If you come, I'll let you stay there, inshallah. <laughs> it's the best part of my house. But we have just one musala in my house. And uh, like literally, we were in, like, we were just, I closed all the blinds. We all went, I was just like, no way. You know, I didn't want anyone to like see, like, cause I'm just like, what is this? What is up? And I just didn't, in the beginning, I didn't like it because it's like, why is this going to be special? I'm Muslim. I'm supposed to do that. Those young black men, they look just like me, you see? They look just like me, you see? These are my little brothers, or my little cousins, or my sons. You see? And the way that we had grew up, if somebody got into a middle of a fight like that, we'd get you. So those kids, not bad kids. They actually listened. And a lot of young people, they only want someone to tell them something. So that's what happened. But I said all of that to say all of that so I can say this. No, I did not expect all of that to happen. But because of this trustworthy hadith from the Prophet wasallam, I accept it. And now I accept that life will always be this way. And I'm thinking about all the struggles that Allah Ta'ala put us through. And when I talk to you guys, I talk to you from the standpoint of my experiences of struggle. And this little bit of deen that we were accustomed to that helped us make our lives better. That's what I got. That's what I got. And uh, so when you put the two together, you have to, um, you have to adhere to the call of Allah. And you have to be where he wants you to be present. You know? So really, I don't deserve to be here speaking with you. I only come because you call. That's it. I only come because you call. That's it. So um, may Allah accept from me and may Allah accept from you. Oh, I mean, I mean.